I'm back. <laughs> this time, guys, I'm here with Daniel Gracie. Daniel, thank you so much for taking the time out of, out of your day to do an interview with me. Uh, real quick, Daniel, you just did the uh, ultimate uh, absolute New York City. How was your experience? It was very good. I, like, I, I took a hiatus uh, off of MMA. I get back. I came back and now, like, my wife pushed me to, to start to compete because she knows that I get happy competing in Jiu Jitsu and Nogi. And the ultimate absolute was the, the first one of many, you know, like, I get really pumped up and, like, back. I'm back. I'm just, I'm going to compete in any, you know, any event that is in front of me now. Now, do you, uh, do you cut for MMA or do you fight the same as you do with grappling? Look, everybody knows how to cut weights today, so I'm cutting from 205 now. I'm fighting at 185, oh, wow. and uh, I'm feeling really good. You know, I'm, I'm feeling in shape. I'm feeling faster. My jiu-jitsu is you know, just getting better every day. So I'm, I'm like, I'm cutting down to 185. So I think that that's going to be the like the division that I have to fight now. Excellent. Now, a lot of people, you know, besides training, you know, a lot of people. They do strength and conditioning. What does yours consist of? I'm, I've been training in a gym in, in uh, Stanford that we call All American Athletes. Uh, they're very good. They get uh, specifically what you do. Like you're a fighter, you're a football player, and they work in whatever you're gonna use in the fight. And like he's doing pretty good. And beside that, I'm working with Dr. Colin Coker. That it's like one of the best sports doctors in the whole country, and he. He also helped me in my nutrition, and like he gave me like, anything that I need to be stronger. Like he noticed that I need more legs, I need more arms, and he like he works with me on that. So it's working pretty good. I'm feeling really good now. I don't think he needs more arms than this. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, real quick, do you believe in a lot of people? They can believe in the chiropractor. Do you do you like going to a chiropractor or you you know what? So I like it, but the thing is, because now I'm working with Dr. Carlin, like that guy is magic. You know, like he just put everything I need in place, like everything that has happened to me that I'm like, I'm feeling this pain and he goes like, the pain's on my shoulder, he goes on my foot. And I'm like, oh, oh wait a minute, and then it works. So right now I'm not using chiropractic, I'm, I'm using Dr. Colin, but I, I usually go to chiropractic and it works, for me it works, but now like, I don't need it. Now another good question, I know a lot of the, the Gracie's are very um, popular on the, the Gracie diet. Do you follow the Gracie diet or are you big on the supplements? Look, I follow the Gracie diet, but again, like I change a little bit because uh, guys that I get, they're heavier, they're stronger, you know, so I have to apply some uh, animal protein on the, so I eat fish, sometimes I eat chicken, and uh, again, what I try to do uh, on the Gracie diet, from the Gracie diet, it's to combine the, the meals not to get you know like like bad digestion and that's what I use it from the basic diet but like I I need to eat a little a little more right than usual right now what do you do as far as cardio besides besides training with these monsters downstairs I swim <laughs> a lot I, I sprint I'm not a runner don't invite me to run because <laughs> it's not gonna oh, happen yeah no, it's not gonna happen like, oh yeah let's go for a jog at six, six o'clock in the morning <laughs> call me forget, later yeah, exactly forget about it. Like I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. I don't run. I run sprinting, but not like don't don't call me for like a 30 minute. You run, run for dinner. Exactly for dinner. <laughs> for dinner I run. Not like not for something else. Like anything else. Like uh, I'm not a runner. Like right, Daniel, real quick. Uh, I don't want to take too much of your time, but I heard you told me you have a Bellator fight. You tell the people about that. The only thing I can tell is gonna be in October. Uh, I can't. Can't tell say, you the opponent. Yeah, I can't say the opponent yet. And top secret. Yeah, top secret. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a big show. Now this might be a, keep this, in touch. this my next question is gonna be dumb as hell, but you can train anywhere in the world. You have cousins, family. Why Hendo Grace in New York City? Because Hendo is the best teacher in the world. The best. That's, that's I would say team. John Donahue is right up there. John Donahue is a mastermind. Remember, John, it's Hendo's student. Exactly. Uh, yeah. When, like when Hendo starts to teach you, it's just magical. Like he, you like that's why. Sometimes I'm thinking about to go into the right. And the fight, and he said, go left. I go left. I close my eyes, I do whatever he says, because the guy is like, he's like in another level of you know, teaching. I had the, the supreme honor of going with him today, and he almost choked me with his throat. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. And, uh, he put his throat in my mouth, and I, was, oh, I yeah, couldn't exactly. even breathe, man. Right? That, that's the way it is. And I think he's going to be like that for a long time. You know, like people think that, like, oh, Hans is getting older. No, he's not. You train with him, you're going you're gonna, to you know, know what I'm talking about. Exactly, guys. You got to come down here, guys. Hands up, based in New York City. 
Dan, you any quick uh, last shout outs? Do you have any sponsors or anything? Yeah, I want to thank like Dr. Colin Coker for sure because this is the guy that is uh, you know helping me a lot. Like I don't get injuries anymore. Like he's getting me really strong. Uh, all American athletes that I've been working with. Uh, and also, what I want to say is that uh, a lot of people are looking for like jiu-jitsu schools all over the U.S. And you know, get a real jiu-jitsu school. You know, like don't go to people that you don't know who their teacher were, uh, who they're training with. Uh, there's some guys training on the internet. Please look for Hands of Grace in New York or Hands of Grace Association because that's the only guy that don't sell associations. All his associations are from hands of students. They are his real students. So real students. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Real jiu-jitsu guys. Yeah, real jiu -jitsu. Do your homework. Can you, Gracie? October yeah. guys, go to a lookout for him. That's all we can tell you. Buy a pay-per-view. Daniel, thank you so much. Thank Peace you, out, guys. Actually, he's gonna be on MTV too. Oh, MTV too for free. <laughs> no excuses. Take care, guys.